I tell people all the time, you know, Orlando is home now, and the fans, the support structure, the ownership, the staff, the players, the athletes, the community, the stars have aligned. I said when I was hired, I feel like I hit the jackpot, and I still think I'm living that dream, and I've hit the jackpot, and we continue to move forward, and we're seeing more and more fans, more and more investment in women's sports, and it's a really exciting time to be a part of this club. I've said from day one, it takes everyone. Everyone plays a role in the success of a team and of a group of people. I'm really excited about the future here in Orlando. The one and only GM of Orlando Pride herself, Haley Carter. Orlando Pride General Manager, Haley Carter. Thank you so much for joining us, Haley. You haven't even finished your second year, and you have transformed this team. You guys are breaking league records. And the Orlando Pride own history by their lonesome. The longest unbeaten streak in regular season NWSL history. Really excited. Obviously, the opportunity to get to continue what we're building here in Orlando, working for the Wolves uh, and our entire ownership group, working collectively with Seb and our technical staff, our support staff, our front office staff, working with Jared. It's all really exciting. This is just the beginning. So to be able to continue that journey and continue building off of the foundation we've created in the last 18 months is exciting. Building a culture takes small decisions every single day, and it's hard work, and it's been a long journey. I think 18 months, you know, when people ask me, did I ever expect us to have this amount of success as quickly, I'll be honest with you, the answer is no, because I know that, that building a culture requires a lot of investment from our equipment managers, our facilities and groundskeepers, to our head coach, technical staff, scouting and analytics, the entire group is, has come together. and. For us, like we are one club and everything that we do, we do together. And so it's in collaboration with the athletes, it's in collaboration with every single staff member, every single athlete. Doesn't matter if you're a starter, doesn't matter if you're coming off the bench. Every single person that comes into our environment plays a role in our environment, plays a role in our success, and we're having a good time all the time, and I'm looking forward to that continuing. You know, long term, we want to be a destination club for athletes. We want to bring the world's best players here to Orlando and to the National Women's Soccer League to compete. We want to win championships, but we want to create something that's sustainable and consistent. And that's been the ultimate goal for us and for Seb and myself and, and the ownership is to create an environment that is consistent and that is sustainable over time and that it's not just a flash in the pan, but something that's going to continue to grow. And, I, I genuinely, I wouldn't be here if not for the Wolves and, and their seriousness to invest in women's sports, to invest in the pride and their commitment to ensure that we are successful, not just now, but sustainably long term. They're generational owners, they're committed to this group. I have to say I'm incredibly fortunate to get to partner with Seb. I, I don't think there is a better partnership anywhere in, in the league and, and the things that we do, we do together, we make decisions together. Um, we talk about accountability being very singular, to be able to, to have both of our contracts extended and, and to continue, like I said, building together is really exciting and we're continuing to build on that foundation, but ultimately it's to create an environment where athletes want to come, coaches want to come, staff members want to come, and we are serious about attracting athletes who care about the badge, they care about the club, they care about the success of their teammates and they're going to fight for each other just continuing to drive that, that sense of, of togetherness and it's us against the world and we're ready to take it on.